most of the uh, people that come in are on benefits and so problems with that just puts them into difficulties financially and, and sometimes they get big bills they're not expecting and they just struggle. Um, sometimes they're just coming for one, you know, an emergency one for that week. So we can do that for them or there's people that are regularly coming into us. Um, and people can come in every two weeks for a parcel. So we have around about 250 names on our list. Um, but obviously they all come every two weeks. Some, are, some people just come in, say, three weeks ago, then we won't see them for another month. So that they know that if they need a parcel, they can come here for one when they need it. I normally come here to the food bank because I'm not able to buy my own food. I'm out of employment. I was working in Swindon as a security guard. But then when the coronavirus crisis came about, we were told to stop for a while. That's why I come for the food bank. And I come here twice a week and I get what, what I really require. Give, give me everything, toiletries, they give me food. The only thing they don't give me is only one, cooking oil. <laughs> we, can, we can give you cooking oil. So what does, it, what does it mean for you to be able to come here and receive? Or what difference does it make for you? There is a lot of difference because when you deal with the people who are missionaries and people who are charitable, like the, the Birmingham City Mission, they don't care and they don't look at you according to the creed, color, religion or anything. So they, they treat people equally. They don't give you special treatment. They give you food that they have given to your neighbor. So, I mean, I can only call them good Samaritans according to the Bible. Yeah. Um, we are interested in the character in every day. He was a musician uh, and has spent most of his life. He's uh, never been out of work uh, and just wondering how he's going to get food on the table. It's the first time he's had to come to a food bank and um, he was practically in tears um, and he's just got a feel for the guy. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's literally at his wit's end. And I think with food banks, that is, it is, is the number one key. We're helping people uh, when they're really down. You know what I mean? So, and that's that's in a nutshell, really. Uh, and all the people that survived, uh, provide this food, we're going to thank them because at the end of the day, without it, we can't help anybody. So I just want to thank you all for doing that. Thank you. And bless you all. <laughs>